if I hit Command Option U, I have take lanes. So what you can do is you can set up take lanes with MIDI files in them. I'm gonna reload the hi-hat rolls. Watch this. You guys are gonna flip the out. If you look here, what I did was I made a template for each possible hi-hat roll and I loaded it in here. In Ableton comping, I loaded a MIDI file for each take lane. So I have one half, one half triplet, one quarter, one quarter triplet, one eighth, 132nd to 164th. You can even go higher. If I wanna make a hi-hat pattern, I hit the B key. And so say I wanna start with 1 8 and then I wanna do some 1 16th, back to 1 8 and then I wanna go 132nd. Check this out. You saw how easy that is? Let's do some fast ones in here too. Let's do some triplets here. You guys ever done MIDI comping? This is the quickest way to do hi-hat rolls. It's just real fast. You can go crazy with it. After we have this, you can consolidate it. And now look, you have all your rolls right here. So like say I wanna mess with the hi-hat, I can mess with the pitch. All right, y'all, check it out. I'm gonna show you guys this hi-hat trick. So, we gotta make the grid a little tighter. So just an easy way to dial in rolls. Let's throw it off the grid a little bit. I just made this with this hi-hat technique. It's a good way to make your hi-hat patterns more interesting. Just keep consolidating. And then command option U, it hides all the take lanes. So you're back to just a regular hi-hat pattern. And then you can just edit it normally.